Parvati Shallow is a television personality and was the $1 million winner of the reality television series Survivor, Micronesia. She had previously competed in Survivor, Cook Islands where she placed sixth, and later was the runner-up in Survivor, Heroes vs. Villains. From July 5, 2011 to December 2011, Parvati starred in CBS Around the World for free. From 2013 to 2014, she was the host of Survivor Live on CBS.com, a weekly web-exclusive series where she interviews the voted off castaways from Survivor and chats with other special guests such as former players. Biography, Shallow grew up the eldest of three siblings on a commune in Vero Beach, Florida. She and her family moved to Atlanta when she was 11 years old. Shallow put herself through college, attending the University of Georgia, where she received her Bachelor of Arts degree in journalism with minors in French and Italian. While in college, she was an active member of the Alpha Micron Pi sorority. Shallow began competing in boxing in 2004. She and some fellow boxers created a non-profit organization titled Knockouts for Girls, a charity that provides scholarships and boxing lessons for underprivileged girls. She completed the Nautica Malibu Sprint Triathlon and is scheduled to compete in the Wildflower Olympic Distance Triathlon at Lake San Antonio, CA. In 2009, Shallow and fellow Survivor contestant Amanda Camel appeared in the movie Into the Blue 2. In 2010, Shallow was the host on a CBS Survivor preview segment for the 21st season, Survivor, Nicaragua. Shallow was the latest host of the web series Around the World for Free which began airing on July 5, 2011. Survivor, Shallow originally auditioned for The Amazing Race along with her friend. They did not make the final cut. CBS producers, however, remembered her from her auditions and then approached her to take part in Survivor, which she accepted. She is widely considered to be one of the best to ever play the game, placing in the top three in most rankings. Survivor, Cook Islands Shallow originally appeared as part of the Rarotonga tribe, which represented Caucasians, along with Adam Gentry, Jonathan Penea, Jessica Flyker Smith, and Candice Woodcock. Her tribe did not face any danger for the first six days as they had immunity. At the end of the second immunity challenge, Billy Garcia of the Aichu tribe told Shallow and Woodcock that he was next to go. Woodcock replied, We love you and Garcia believed Woodcock and he fell in love. Shallow was particularly allied with Gentry and Woodcock, who were romantically involved. When the four tribes were merged into two, Shallow and Gentry remained in Maratonga while their other tribe mates were sent to Aichitaki. Despite being stronger in number, the new Maratonga continually lost in challenges. Shallow pressed for the elimination of J.P. Calderon, whom she thought as arrogant and he became the fourth person voted out, despite his physical strength. Shallow survived her tribe's next three tribal councils as John Paul J.P. Calderon, Stefani Favor, and Christina Correa were voted off. When the contestants were down to twelve, a mutiny twist was presented where anybody could change tribe affiliations, and for the first time it was accepted. Shallow's former tribe mates Penea and Woodcock decided to jump back to Rarotonga, thus having all remaining Caucasian contestants on the same tribe. Rarotonga lost the next two immunity challenges and Shallow remained loyal to her white alliance by eliminating Brad Virata, Rebecca Borman, and Jenny Guzanbana. At the merge, despite coming with a 5 Euro 4 member advantage over Aichitaki, Shallow found herself at the minority as Penea betrayed his former tribe mates and joined the Aichu for in voting out Nathan Nate Gonzalez. Shallow was angry with Penea and even cut her thumb with a machete a day following Penea's betrayal while cutting a coconut, saying she was imagining the coconut was Penea's head. After Alliance member Candice was eliminated, Shallow and Gentry found themselves fighting for survival. Despite being on the outs, Shallow was able to retain her strength and won two reward challenges, one being the Loved One Challenge. This worried the Aichu Four, who were dissatisfied with how Gentry and Shallow lay around camp sleeping, while they worked and got their food. In an attempt to stay in the game, Gentry and Shallow talked to Yorkwon about voting out Penea first in exchange for their jury votes, a plan which succeeded. 
On day 36 Shallow was finally voted out in a 4 a Euro 2 vote when the I2 foresaw her craftiness as more of a threat than Gentry's physical strength. As a juror, she cast her vote for runner-up Aussie Lust. Shallow was noted for being a flirt throughout the season. She flirted with Nathan Nate Gonzalez to ensure his loyalty, had cuddle sessions with Gentry and sat naked in a hot tub with Quan and Lust during a rewards challenge. Shallow also kissed Gentry when she was voted off. Survivor, Micronesia. Parvati returned as a favorite, and part of the Malakal tribe. She formed a close bond with James Clement and the two formed an alliance with another couple consisting of Amanda Kamel and Ozzy Lust. After their tribe lost the first immunity challenge, they tried swinging John Dalton, also known as Johnny Fairplay, over to their side to gain a majority over the alliance of Yao Man Chan. Amiku Sack, Eliza Orleans, and Jonathan Penea. However, Fair Play was voted out instead as per his wishes. Parvati then made a pact with Siri Fields to go all the way to the final three with Amanda. After losing the third immunity challenge, Parvati was targeted by the opposing alliance but her alliance succeeded in voting off strategic threat Yao Man. At the tribal switch. Parvati and James Clement were separated from their alliance as they moved to Arai. However, she remained safe as her tribe won the remaining tribal immunity challenges. On day 20, she made a deal with Natalie Bolton to an alliance with James and Alexis Jones plus a final four deal with Alexis and Amanda, both of which Natalie accepted. At the merge, Parvati found herself in a good position as she was allied with six of the nine people left. During the 10th immunity challenge, Parvati convinced Jason Siska to step down from the challenge so that she could win immunity, which worked. However, Parvati's couple's alliance decided to turn back on what they said and vote off Jason. Siri saw this as an opportunity to blindside physical threat Aussie and needed Parvati for it to work, which she agreed to. She recruited her ERI female alliance Natalie and Alexis to the plan and Ozzy was voted off 5 a Euro 4. After Ozzy was voted off, Parvati found herself in a failed attempt to patch things up with James and Amanda. The five remaining women then formed an alliance to vote off the men, starting with Jason. However, when James was evacuated and Eric Rii Chen back won immunity, they were forced to vote off one of their own. Amanda was the intended target, a plan which Parvati did not want to be part of. She then helped Amanda in her quest to find the hidden immunity idol and together, they voted off possible jury threat Alexis. Parvati made it all the way to the final three with Siri and Amanda however, she was shocked to learn that only two of them would face the jury. She was eliminated first at the final immunity challenge but was chosen to be in the final two by Amanda. At the final tribal council, Parvati convinced the jury to vote for her because of her aggressive game play compared to her previous season. Despite being accused of being a mean person by Eliza Orleans and a backstabber by Ozzy Lust, the jury decided to award Parvati the title of sole survivor with a vote of 5 a Euro 3 against Amanda, earning votes from Eliza Orleans, Jason Siska, Alexis Jones, Natalie Bolton, and Siri Fields. Survivor, Heroes vs. Villains Parvati returned to play Survivor for a third time as a part of the villain's tribe. She quickly accepted an alliance with Russell Hans and Danielle Di Lorenzo. On day 18, the villains lost immunity, and the Parvati, Russell, and Danielle alliance were still struggling to gain control of the game. They finally gained control when they persuaded Jerry to switch sides and vote out Russell's rival, Rob. While the villains are yet to vote out a female member, the heroes assumed that the villain's side was being run by an all-women alliance, led by Parvati. When the villains lost immunity again on day 21, they decided to vote Coach out to further confirm the hero's belief of that. Parvati and Danielle both found the hidden immunity idol together and decided not to tell Russell. On day 24, the villains lost immunity again and James J.T. Thomas J. gave his idol to Russell in hopes that he would use it to vote out Parvati. Russell, however, showed it to Parvati, along with Danielle and Jerry. On day 25, the heroes and villains merged into yin-yang and went to the heroes' camp. Parvati and Russell came up with this story that they both played their idol, 
negating all votes and that in the revote they voted out Courtney. The new tribe quickly alienated Parvati, making Parvati swear to get revenge on all of the heroes. For the immunity challenge on day 27, Parvati and Danielle were the last two remaining. Parvati decided to give it to Danielle, because Parvati already had the idol. Before tribal council, Russell gave Parvati his idol. Parvati went and then talked to Amanda, who warned her to play the idol for herself. Parvati didn't trust her, and at tribal council she played both idols on Sandra and Jerry, sending JT home in a 5-0 vote. On day 33, Russell won immunity, and decided to turn on his alliance. He tried to pit Parvati and Danielle against each other, but failed. Russell then aligned with the heroes to vote Danielle out, and with a little help from Jerry, Danielle was voted out in a 4-3 vote. Russell then aligned with the heroes and decided to target Parvati. However, his plan was ruined when she won immunity on day 36. Parvati then won her third challenge on day 37, and they voted the last hero, Colby, out of the game in a 4-1 vote. After Parvati failed to win the final immunity challenge, it seemed that she would be voted out, since everyone wanted her gone. Parvati wanted to get rid of Sandra, thinking she would get a lot of votes in the end. However, they voted out Jerry in a 3-1 vote, because Russell believed he would get her vote on the jury. In the end, Parvati came in second, gaining the jury votes of Coach, Danielle, and Jerry. She beat Russell, who received no votes, and was beaten by Sandra Diaz Twine, who got the votes of all heroes, plus Courtney. At the reunion, it was revealed that Parvati had played more days than anyone else in Survivor history, with 114 days in three seasons, a record that was surpassed in 2011 by Rob Mariano, who played a total of 117 days in four seasons. Parvati, along with Candice, is the only person to play three seasons all with 20 castaways. References External links, Survivor After Show on CBS.com, Parvati Shallow Biography for Survivor, Cook Islands at CBS.com, Parvati Shallow Biography for Survivor, Micronesia at CBS.com, Parvati Shallow Biography for Survivor, Heroes vs. Villains at CBS.com, Parvati Shallow at the Internet Movie Database.